gets up. Ten seconds. You run. No goodbye. I'm like, oh, there she goes. I get bored with this place, Billy. Yeah? So you ran after Ray? Uh, uh, well, uh, Sometimes I just run, Billy, yeah? No, I don't. You ran I get, after I get, Ray. I get, I get bored and I go. No. So, so you this ran is, after Ray. So, so, so this is maniacal Saturday. Um, I sat here. I said to him, I said, look, look at this. Look at this. Ray gets off you all out of plans. It didn't work. Madness. Wait a few minutes. Wait a few minutes. Maniacal Saturday. Ten seconds. She goes, am I lying? No, you are. I tell you the truth. Right what, did, what did you all do? What did you all do? He was going to read a book. I talked to the robot, too. You ran after him so he could read a book? No, he reads books sometimes. Sometimes I talk to the robot and then, and, then, and, then, and then we're out in the parking lot talking, too, yeah? You ran after him because he was going to read a book? No, we talk out in the parking lot sometimes, too. So what was the big secret? Well, he wouldn't say goodbye. He runs. Ten seconds. You get up and. I'm sorry. I should have said. Goodbye. You know what she? You know what she talked about right what before? She, she said the words "my guy" before. What would your guy do if he? What you mean? Check your guys out and check. And what did you do? Got his phone number somehow? You did something? Oh, it came up online on he the got his on phone number. The white page. What would you do if Jimmy called your guy and said she ran after some so guy? His phone number. Well, his name isn't my guy. Uh, it, it, that's not his on his birth certificate, but you know, uh, it's just that that guy Ray was his name. It was still is. What a lunatic! What a lunatic! Looney you, Tunes! You that guy. And is. you ran after him. He he's was. Not my guy. Jerry's my guy. Yeah, but he's nuts. That that Ray. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know that. Well, just listen well, to how him. Would you know? <laughs> how would you know? You're you're uh, you're Twinkies too. I mean, come on, come on. He, he 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 was really out there in the Andromeda galaxy. He was out there, man. <laughs> Who's the pilot of the spaceship? Come on. Oh God. Yeah, the starship in uh, uh, Looney Tunes, right? Here's another guy. It's called Ray. Oh, that guy. He. You know what's you know what's better than him? I get one of those male blow-up dolls with a with a dildo attached. <laughs> Well, oh, don't say it too loud. I mean, well, you know, no. don't go advertising it. Yeah, let's keep that. Yeah. Yeah. But still, he's no. And he bought the way she ran off. It was amazing. I forgot, but you ran. Out. You ran out of. Here. I know he's married. Like, I don't bother with him. I just him. He's married, but well, he. Why was, did you run out of here so fast? But he was looking at you like you were a ribeye steak. You were whispering in the corner. <laughs> he gets up. Ten seconds. You run. Stop the BS. Do you think we're stupid? He was looking at her like she was a black Angus ribeye steak. Oh, he doesn't know what he wants. And then, and then he was such a prize package that she couldn't say so long or good night or anything. There she goes. In a few, a week or so, call her guy. You got the number now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, I mean, literally a blow up. A, a blow-up device is superior to that guy, Ray. I mean, with, with no exaggeration. What, what are you thinking? Yeah, what were you what thinking? What are you thinking? I'm worried about my hospital bill now. So you run after Ray. What does that have to do with Ray? I run after Ray because I'm worried about my hospital bill. I didn't, I didn't talk to him in the parking lot or anything. I just ran out. I was bored with this place. Oh, I yeah. thought you ran you off you with sure him. You jumped up Wait fast. Wait a minute. Come off of Did you I... go home with him? I didn't go home with him or anything. Because no. that would be a nightmare. Eileen. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bother with him. He's married, though. Don't you know that? Yes, but I wonder why you jumped up and ran so fast after him. I just him. take off sometimes. I could take off now in a split second too, Bill. <laughs> like you know, Eileen, that's really normal. Everybody <coughs> does that. Oh, my God. What is wrong with that picture? <laughs> just jump up, don't say a word, and bam. Especially if a certain... What would you do if I got up and just walked out the door? I'd say, what's what's eating him? What's, what's, what, what's wrong with... You just jumped what? up and ran out. So what's going on, Bill? See, see, she wants to change the no, subject. No, uh, don't, don't, don't. You think something's that. going on? That she wants to change you, the you subject? You feel guilty, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> what if my guy finds out about this? Yeah, yeah. 
Wawa with her guy. Yeah, right. It can't be her guy anymore because she's, she's got Raymond now. Well, he's going to marry her when he turns 60. He's what, 89 or something now? He's very sick now. He's dizzy. He's got headaches. He's got back pain. He fell out of a truck, Bill. See what well, the effect you have of, on people? He <laughs> fell out of a truck. <laughs> and it wasn't even moving. Was it, it was moving, I think. Backwards. Wait a minute. Was he driving when he fell out? I hope he not. I oh, he drives like you then. She, she goes into telephone poles without looking straight ahead, you know, and he... Well, these poles can jerk right out in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Right? So you he to be, poses... You have to be very careful. Oh, my God. It's incredible. You Eileen. can't... You, you can't make this stuff up. No. This I is... I he was driving away. I don't know. I didn't ask him. She didn't ask him. You didn't ask him. I thought he... He was your, your main squeeze. She didn't even ask him about his accident? Squeeze, that could be a lemon, that could be a lot of things. Well, in this so, case, uh, the brains is, the brains are being squeezed. So where is Ray today? I don't even know. I, I don't know. I don't ask questions where he's going or Oh, no kiss and tell. Yeah, but he was whispering uh, to you a lot that day. <laughs> the other maniacal, um, uh, I forgot what day it was, Saturday Madness? I see time she meets up with him. They know about us. They, they know, know what's going they on. They know about us. I took an energy drink and I'm still tired, Bill. I stayed up late last night, you know? No, you keep saying I know. Wait, what time did you take the energy drink? Jimmy, thanks. Thank you. No problem. No, no, no. Boy, I feel lots of my stuff stuck over there. Oh, let me, let me ask you an important question. Your tel your cell phone recharger, is it locked up in the apartment? Oh, I remembered to get it and bring it over. Thank God. And all my drugs. All my drugs. Could you imagine if the recharger and and the medications was locked up? Well, I got the essentials, you know, toothpaste. And, uh, yeah, but I mean, thank God you did my, get the my essentials. Naked photo of Eileen. <laughs> naked photo of Eileen. But it's true about the. He gave it to me. <laughs> naked photo of you. From the from the internet. Yeah. But uh, but that would be a kick in the head, though. You know, if uh, if uh, he she really did shack up with that. Uh, she did. Nerd, so that's a nervous laugh. Yeah, so. she's nervous. She's caught. She knows. She was with Ray. She, she won't admit it. She what? Won't admit it. Admit what? That you shacked up with Ray. What is shacked up mean, though? Hooked up, shacked up, spent time together. Uh, conjugal visits? Well, well no, conjugal? conjugal. Now we're, she now, won't know what that means. Now we're getting too complex. Yeah, yeah, big, don't use the big words. What is conjugal <laughs> means you wear big noses and clown makeup. Yeah, gra a Groucho marks the sky. You look conjugal. You know a Groucho marks the sky. You join the circus, you become a conjugal. With the big schnozzola, the eyeglasses, and the, the mustache. Yeah, that, that mean, well, that, hey, that looks like Ray, except he has that, gray hair. Does that mean that Except he has gray hair. What? What? What does that mean? You were just clowning around, but you didn't do anything? Well, with the big red noses, <laughs> you, you had the noses on. What does that mean? That means conjugal visit. That means uh, very, you got very personal with Ray. Had sex, you mean? Well, if you want to call it that. Yeah. That's what it means? Yeah. Uh, I, I, that what it means I reckon. Is that what it means, Jimmy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes? Uh, to be honest with you, since we are honest people. That means yes? <laughs> that means yes, I need a martini right now. Does that mean yes? I can make mine a double. Does that mean yes, Jimmy? Uh, Eileen, uh, I did say yes before, okay. and she's repeating my name. Is that okay, Eileen? Is that okay with you, Jimmy? <laughs> damn right okay, it is. Okay, Eileen. You're damn tootin' it is. Okay, Jimmy. Where, okay, oh, Eileen. where are, are you tonight? tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I didn't hear you say I you searched you the world, you world, 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 you and Ray shack up that night. Yeah. Oh, you know who would know? The pendulum would know the truth about what actually you happened. Your other one, or you want to use? No, I, I brought that. I figure you're going to use that. Le pendu. What do you want to ask? How do you want to ask? Um, uh, did our acquaintance here, uh, Eileen? Uh, have a conjugal well, uh, no. uh, encounter, said, had a personal encounter. Did our, with our, 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 our uh, 
acquaintance and friend Eileen here at McDonald's have a conjugal encounter with Ray. Saying yes. Are you wrong? Look at that swing. Big no, no, it is not wrong. Uh, it's it's hanging good to me. Uh, I mean, uh, where, oh, where are you tonight? I did. I never saw you run out of here so fast, though. So I've got to be honest. And, and you know what? You could have done a lot better than that freakazoid. Where? See, Jimmy's mad. What? Well, I'm not mad. I'm just. You didn't choose him. No. Oh, come on. Throw your nose. What happened? You're bleeding. Where? Your nose, right there. And you got a gash, like like indentation. Yeah. Where? Here, right here in your nostril. And then up above, you got a. Yeah. It's probably that birthmark. Is it right here? No, it's not a birthmark. It's like a scratch. Well, you me. wiped it away now, but it was red. I guess it was the birthmark, yeah. No, I don't know. You keep saying I know, and I don't. Yeah, that's another bad habit people have, you know? You know, no, I don't. Like mentioning your name, Billy. She's bleeding to death. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba Billy. Do you understand what I'm saying? A Billy. You're not bleeding to death, are you? You're not a hemophiliac, are you? You're not with a hemoglobin. Well, being with Ray would be a necrophilic. It's so See, it's red next. It's bleeding now. It's red again. Look, am I right or wrong, Jimmy? Oh, it's bleeding. Can you hand that but, 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 but being with Ray would be no, like. It's always red. You know what? It's always red. It's a nappy. No, I, I would have noticed before. This is the first time I've noticed it. No, you're bleeding. Wipe it, Irene. Wipe it. I guess it was red from, it was bleeding from touching and I just didn't clean it, you know? No, I don't know, but it's red. I can so, see from here. My so, sight's up. So to, con to continue to bleed without stopping. It's always red, Jimmy. Is hemophilia like ne like here with her and Ray would be like necrophilia, necrophilia. Two dead bodies. Two dead bodies having conjugal visits together. New Jersey and you? No, that would be Eileen and Ray, very unperfect together. Well, she's leaving again. Uh oh. No, she's getting. She's filling her bag up. She's still catch her. She's filling that big bag up with supplies. Look! 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 She's stuffing it. She's stuffing so. Oh, so many. Oh, my God. Couple what? I'm in coffee. Oh, you mean to stir with? So that my teeth don't get yellow. You use them to put in your coffee, you know? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I drink with straws. I drink my coffee with straws. But how does that make your teeth not stain? It's not as bad, the lady told me. A lady told you if you drink coffee from a straw, you, your teeth will not get yellow. Uh, they won't stain as bad. But doesn't the coffee go in your mouth anyway? No, I guess it goes past the teeth and the straw. And it's Down the gullet. It's a theory, I guess. You know, a lot of people have, have great advice. Kind of like what you do there. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. A lot of people, as Popeye would say. So where's your guy? In the hospital down in North Carolina? He's in a hospital now? This, uh, he's, in a, he's going for physical therapy three or four, a lot of days during the week. Because he's he, going to be in the hospital. Because he, I mean, he couldn't get back up here. He's got to be down there. Because he you fell. he's in Pennsylvania. Oh. Because he fell out of the truck. Oh, this is just uh, what are, you, what are, you, are your bedroom slippers anymore? I come not wearing my bedroom slippers. I got so many shoes, I don't even wear half of them. Why do you do that? Couldn't be bothered. Sword and through them all. Well, I mean, why do you buy so many if you don't wear them? I know, it's crazy. Gee, you think? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I'm so, I am, I'm so, oh, no, I am now, so. now. <laughs> this is without a doubt when she's here <clears throat> maniacal Saturday madness or if she comes on a Wednesday it'll be maniacal Wednesday madness Wednesday what? 
No, I, I don't think we see you during the weekdays. Well, it depends. She shows up for one day, vanishes for two to three weeks. That's because Ray was so overwhelming. I know. I they, they were just running around. Oh, we're well behaved. Remember the song, we, My Guy? We don't even kiss the, the do nothing. Then what, how could he be your guy? How could he be your guy? You've been there on True TV. Coming up next. Now, as you sing my guy, can I play the ukulele on my nose? A ring? Oh, no. Oh, no. They don't hold hands. Jack gives away prizes. Wait a minute. The, well, you know what your prize is? The peanuts. That's the what? The peanuts. Oh, peanuts. I, I didn't thought say. You said something else. <laughs> yeah, that's in a Cracker Jack box. Oh, that's when somebody makes a hole in the bottom of the Cracker Jack. How could she be? How could he be her her, her main she squeeze? Ran out of here last week after Ray. And I listened to that thing over there, and it doesn't even know what it's How could she? About. How could it be her steady boyfriend if they don't hold hands or kiss or do anything? That, that means. Now, now they're after like. So they have brain waves. They send they send brain waves to each other. Called the Greys. <laughs> <laughs> the Greys. The Greys. The aliens. The little tiny aliens with bug heads in the eyes. My, these Earth people are rude. Remember that oh, on the Herman once. Hoyman, Hoyman, you idiot. So they don't do anything, therefore, there's no con. Um, Whatever happened to that girl that you liked, you know, that we could never hear her? Paula, what happened to her? You remember when she. Well, she was a whisper. I said, I can't whisper. I can't hear you. And Russell said, nobody can. You haven't consummated, consummated the relationship with my guy. You have to consummate it. That's the word I was looking for. Consummated Yeah, something like something else, something like that. Oh. You think that's a soup consomme? That's consomme. She said they, they, she said they used to have sex. Used to. Hands don't count. Hands, hands, hands on, baby, hands on. Da, da, da. Wasn't that like a dumb wedding song? Uh, it's like a polka. Just look at his warts and hair. <laughs> <laughs> National Geographic. Remember the joke about that? You may, you know, you always see top when you were a kid. She was kind of lost. The bra. Or Spiegel? Yeah, she was kind of long. Oh, yeah, the bra section. What's hands, What? What's hands, These are hands. George Costanza once did that in the bathroom with a uh, glamour magazine. And in the mud, the episode where the mother opened the door and went, Georgie, was that, that was the hospital, though, wasn't it? Well, oh, that was, no, there was another one where was he was, one? he moved home and she opened the bathroom door and she went, she collapsed and ended up in, that's how she ended up in a hospital. Oh. She saw him doing that to Glamour magazine. Jerry, tell her about shrinking. She went like this, Georgie, my, what are you doing? And she went, boom, she went right down. A, I told you about the LA, LA law. Estelle right? Costanza. It's ranked one of the top 10 best endings. Oh, that was, was Benny involved in it? No, that was another part of it. Uh, uh, Douglas Brackman, the mall boy, had trouble every time he got with him over his wife. He did flash it. So he goes to a sexual surrogate. So the story goes on. And a then surrogate. At the end of the show, she's there on the screen facing Douglas, the surrogate. Face, Hold me, Douglas. Kiss me. <laughs> Don't be afraid. This will work. Hold me, Douglas. Kiss me, Douglas. They slink down. Screen turns to black, and you hear. <laughs> oh God! And that was like the ending of the whole series. No, just for that episode. Oh. Uh, it was like, it was hysterical. Eileen, uh, uh, approximately. Oh, that was so good. Uh, approximately, how long ago did you uh, consummate your relationship with the my guy? Was the chicken consomme? Yeah, about how long? Was it? How many months or years? Give me talk. I'm just going to sit here. Okay. I don't remember now. Oh, forget it. <laughs>
Oh my god. It's been a while, you know? You keep saying we know. No, we don't know any of this. No, she says it's been a while, which means it's probably been many years since the consomme took place. That's why Ray's in the picture. It, Ray's He's a new consomme. He's the new suitor or oh, masher. Oh, oh, oh. Probably masher. He's a new suitor. Uh, they have funny names for guys, the gentleman callers that used to pick up their date back in the day. You know, and they had the long top hats. Like Abe Lincoln, they used to come, you know. Oh, I remember leaving the beaver, they used to. You, did I ever tell you about the, uh, nah. not too long ago, eight, nine, ten years ago, you all here. Um, this is a maniacal Saturday, indeed. The, uh, it's a what? Oh, Barnes & Noble. A maniacal time, Saturday we madness. So a bunch of us were talking. Steve, remember Steve the Tudor? Yeah. He was there and Robert Ellis, the whole bit. And we were saying, well, let's get out of here. No. Yeah, where, where are you going to sit, right? man? We said, let's get out of here. Let's go. Okay. And Steve, and Steve says, Steve says, we're going to meet back here tomorrow? And I said, sure, why not? He goes, oh, good, maybe we can all exchange phone numbers. He said, so I said, yeah. And then we'll go to the malt shop and see if Wally and the bees were there. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or what's his name? Potsy Weber and Ralph Mouth? Oh, God, that was happy funny. days, yeah, Potsy Weber. Yeah. Potsy was the one, he was the crooner, he sang. Not oh. <laughs> he now, sucked Now anyway. we're here, and you, this, this can't be happy days. Are you going to the malt shop with, with, with Ray? No. Uh, friendlies? I think friend. I think friendlies is now, the only in, place. Now, when you were Ray, if you were up at the jukebox, or, what songs would you? Play? Or uh, Dairy Queen. They don't even know what Malta is. Please, you. Oh, you. I went to Dairy Queen one time. I I said, give me an extra large strawberry Malta. She goes, what's Malta? Well, it's made from barley. Uh, go in the back and look for it. I told her. She found it, but she she never knew what it was. But nobody asked for it, except me. I says, put extra malt in it. I said, load it up good. It's made from barley. Nah. Only you. So what songs would be in the jukebox? My guy. She only plays my guy in the jukebox. Huh? Neil Young songs. Oh, no. Neil Young, Young songs? Young. Neil Young. Why him? Yeah, I like Neil Young. No, no disc, classic disco? No, uh, nothing? Oh, yeah. Classic disco. Oh, that was a fun area. Burn, baby, burn. Disco in front. Burn, burn. I saw them once. The Tramps? Yes. Where? Really? No, really? You know where they have entertainment? In Lodi and City Hall. They have an amphitheater, an outdoor... That was a big word, right? She won't know what An amphitheater? Like, um, you know, where you have a stage and you, and you have a dome. In, where? In, in, in Lodi, out, outside Lodi City Hall. They have they have groups. And, and, uh, I think she swims there. They have like doo-ops. She thinks it means amphibious too. Doo-op groups. Oh, we can they have doo-op? Oh, yeah. Doo-op is good. Well, like Motown too. Oh, Charlie Brown. Da -da 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 -da. He's a clown. That Charlie Brown. I'm going to get even. Just you wait and see. How come Murray always always picking on me? I love the Philadelphia <laughs> sound. Motown. Motown and Philly. Oh, and what's the other one? Uh, under the oh. Boardwalk. Who sang Under the Boardwalk? Was that Marvin Gaye? Under the Boardwalk. Under the Boardwalk. Drifters? Did you ever go under the Boardwalk with your uh, special uh, Ray, your friend Ray? <laughs> Under, 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 under. <laughs> under the board. Could you picture Ray in an in a, in a Elvis jumpsuit? Speedo. In a Speedo on, and having him throw in a paddy wagon? And she'd really run from here to the car. In Atlantic City, like like doing street performances in Atlantic City. Her, what, is, what talent does he have? Oh, annoying the hell out of people. There you go. I don't even know where Ray lives. Maybe he's in the Andromeda. He's in another dimension, perhaps. I don't know where he lives. All I know is when he talks to me, it doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense. Me getting the mail from number house number twenty one, and I'm house number twenty seven. Well, I'm still getting uh, what I over here I took from the previous two and three tenants. 
and I've been there seven, eight years. Who were they hiring? The United States like, Postal my Service. God, you keep giving me these people's mail. Uh, it's incredible. Who are they hiring? I they, think Eileen secretly is a mail girl. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're hiring yeah, low budget, no, low budget carriers. Mail, mail carrier. Yeah. Yeah, you got to air out the follicles. Oh, oh, oh! You want to hear something? My mother's caregiver saw a sign on Union, Union Street, Lodi, room for rent. So she asked me to call. I call. This woman goes right down the line of all the demands, and then she goes, "No Section Eight people allowed." I says, "Does that make?" And I want two thousand dollars a month rent for three bedrooms. I say, "Wait a minute! Are you, are you trying to say you're discriminating against low-income people, against the poor?" She goes, I don't have to answer that. I don't want no Section 8. I don't allow no Section 8 in my, in my apartment. That means you could discriminate against low... It was advertised uh, as it's a three-bedroom apartment, but she didn't go through through the details until I called. Well, leave your pocketbook here so we can go through it. So, so what difference... Don't take that with you. I'm bringing it, Bill. No, please. Leave that here. Her purse is like Sanford and Son. There might be stuff that we want. Come on. Her purse is like her purse is like going to San, uh, Red Fox's uh, front yard. You're not going to find anything of value in there. No, but but really, that, what they're doing is discriminating against low-income people. Well, I don't want Section 8. What, 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 what business is it of yours where, you, where your damn rent money comes from? You're getting your rent money, right? So I felt sorry for, for my mother's caregiver. This woman is a... She wanted two grand for Union... Yeah, but Union Street in Lodi? Who the hell in their right mind would pay two grand to live on Union Street? This woman needed to get smacked around is what she needed. Bye. So handsome. So oh, handsome. Where are you going, where are you going tonight, sir? Nutley Diner. Is it in Nutley? I, I guess. No, Jimmy. It's in Wildwood Crest. <laughs> Wildwood <laughs> Crest. God. What's the difference between regular Wildwood and Wildwood Crest? How many Wildwoods are there? Then you have Diamond Beach and then Cape Diamond Beach? What is it, like Hawaii? Nice, Diamond? Nice Diamond it's, it's wonderful. The food, the seafood. Nothing, nothing like the lobster house. Like right on the tip of the state. You know, I saw, I saw a documentary about all the local uh, marinas and commercial fish, fishing industry in New Jersey, way down south of LB, from LB. Yeah. Yeah, from, well, the lobster house has their own small fleet of ships. Fishing boat yeah, every day. And there's a scungili. So you're getting is as fresh as you get. And there's a scungili company down there where they had to have their own boats. They go off a of conch. For those that are not don't know what scungili is, it's conch. What is a conch? What is a conch? Yeah, what is it? And she's not paying attention. It's oh, a big. What were you it's thinking it's about? a big, giant sea snail. God help me, bro. <laughs> and and it, it, it and, and Italians call it. And you pull it out, it's like a big clump of meat. They call it scungili. The shell itself, you can hear the ocean in it, you know that kind of thing. And they use the shell for a lot of stuff. Actually, an echo for the inner ear, but we won't get that. I know that. Anyway. It's a big shell. Well, yeah, it's a big, the conch shells. Well, too. it's a big sea snail. And I think people, you could, certain ones you can blow into it, it's like a horn. A horn. And what they do is they, they boil it, they clean it, they boil it, and they slice it and serve it either in tomato sauce or in a salad. Is it Atlantic or It's very good, but it has to be prepared properly. Otherwise, it could be chewy. It could be a little tough. Chewy means a little tough. It's not like gum. <laughs> oh. oh, when it's done right and not over overcooked. Nah, burn it. Well, even fried clams is, can be very tasty. And oy oysters. Mussels. Three. In Maryland, oyster season is all oh, all the months that that end in R. I think from October to uh, you know, like like. Well, some say 
they, I think they do it to give it the the oyster beds a chance to recuperate. I think that's why they do it. But they're that stuff's all good. Every which way, I love every which way. Raw, <coughs> steamed, fried. Have you ever had it? My my uncle. Yeah, I've had all those. My aunt and uncle. They're phenomenal. My aunt and uncle. I like that. I like clam. I like the. I know some people think it looks like. Oh, it's great. No, sushi's wonderful. I had... Some people won't eat seafood at all, you're right. I know this guy. I know this guy. I know this guy that prides him. I know this... I know this guy that's. Uh, you got gills. I'll go out with you. <laughs> but you know what's funny? I know this guy who's six foot five. Nice. Into, he's into six four, man. Six four and three quarters. He's into fitness. He's he's supposedly a macho guy. He won't eat rare. He won't eat a rare steak. It's got to be destroyed. It's got to be absolutely well done. I go, what are you, for real? That's their taste. I mean, don't make it, but the, the, the flavor's in the juice, in the juice. That's what people like. Some people put ketchup on steak or ketchup on eggs. Some people don't like seafood at all. That's right. At all. One right here. I went to an old... Oh, oh, oh my God, raw cookie dough. No, I, I, so you get like salmonella. Oh, I love salmonella. Oh. I, I, want, I want bacteria. You mean Salvatore? Body. Salvatore Manila? I want the more bacteria I can get, the more I'm going to That'll be a great, that'll be a great name for a chef. That'll be a great name for an Italian chef, Salvatore Manila. Chef Salvatore Manila. She'll beat him too. Or just like a, a urologist by the name of Dick Trickle. <laughs> My guy. My guy. My guy. I, I went told to people if I was, I once I wanted to go up on the roof. Then he waited to call me to on the roof. Hey. How's that? I up on a roof. I went to an oyster can eat oyster. If I were a rich man. Da -da 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 you're familiar. I am going to the Nutty Diner having a bowl of clams. You ever have, you ever have, Share them with me, but, oh. you, ever, you ever have something called Maryland Silver Queen corn from the Eastern Shore? It's no. white. It's white corn, but it's sweet as can Maryland be. Maryland corn is great too. It's, it's called Silver Queen. Well, Jersey's well known for its produce too. Mega Millionaires 375. Are you going to get a lottery ticket or what? If I win, we can run off together, Eileen. <laughs> Okay. Is, this, is this the Powerball lottery? The Mega Millions. No, Mega Millions. Oh, the Mega Millions. The other one. Yeah. How much? 375 Remember, it only takes one ticket to win. All you need is a dollar and a dream. Two dollars now, Jeff Bill. Two dollars? Oh, this is getting to be some dream. What about Come the... on now. Don't you know, what? haven't you what been is... buying These tickets? These dreams keep getting more and more expensive. Come on, I You've been buying tickets, oh. you know it's... Listen. Well, I've been dreaming, but Listen. now they're not allowed to pay, you know, more Listen. and more. You know what would be a real funny scratch-off game called Scratch? Go scratch your ass, scratch off. New Jersey Lottery. <laughs> and have, and, and if you get three butts, if you get three butts in a row, you win a thousand or two thousand for life. No, they name it after the one of the world famous tsunamis called Krakatoa. Krakatoa, east of Java. Well, no, it's actually nothing west. with coffee. Haven't you been paying two dollars? No, oh, they charged me four. <laughs> you know when you put your ticket on another thing? You put your ticket under that thing, and it says, sorry, not a winner? Oh, yeah. Mine says, I still owe more, more money. <laughs> why, are you saying, why are you saying it's a dollar, Bill? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> Krakatoa. East, it's actually west of Java, but... Or did somebody say, bend over and give us a smile? Crack a smile? But to go scratch your ass, scratch off would, would go over really big. That would be a, a. I mean, I think so. If I get a reality show, you'll be my. Uh, yeah, you ever notice how the chickpea looks like a little butt? If you ever, you ever look at a chick, and it looks chickpea, nothing like a chicken. Yeah, it has a little indentation. It has a crack. A chickpea mm -hmm. has a crack. Well, fruit does too. Some fruit is either an apple or, or an apricot. Like they, like some of them are like you know they're like 
Chinese. Cherries. Cherries are like that. Yeah. I love all that stuff. Uh, garbanzo beans or chickpeas or Indians call them chana. You know hummus. Hummus. Is, oh, it's, it's probably I love it. Yeah. Yes, that's cool. You ever have it? I mean, ever you ever had it besides using it for sex? Now, now, if you and, and if you and Ray or you and my guy ate chickpea salad because they look like butts, would that be arousing to you guys? Could she and Ray find time to eat? I mean, besides, I mean, they yeah. go at it like nonstop, right? Probably. Rabbits, rabbits, like like rabbits. Do you go at it like squooey, wascoey, wee, whittled way rabbits? Oh, Ray, when you're with you Ray. Hunk of <laughs> Or, or she don't oh consummate. God. She don't consummate the my guy because they've known each other too long. She said, you know. So. God, I leave. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, right. Play more music for her. Tiny bubbles in the wine makes. I got some uh, Taylor cream sherry at home, and 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 it couldn't come at a better time. I got two bottles. Oh, well, she'll drive you to drink. No, uh, give life. Two, give her two minutes, she'll warm the car up. Life in general will drive us all to drink. Oh. <laughs> Kidding me? Oh, I'm sure we've all been through the ringer. Consomme. Thanks for this. Billy, you keep it as long as your heart desires. Thanks, I need something. You know, until you get. When do you anticipate getting back in action? Monday or Tuesday, hopefully. So. And there's no, there's no like legitimate lawsuit that you can like really. Oh, yeah, I can, you can appeal the health reasons, health issues too. No, I mean a real bona fide lawsuit. I don't know where yeah, you can. Jackie's working on stuff. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know. Jackie will, of course, of course, give you, give you any evidence you need, if you have a, because you know very good lawyers. I know that. No, but she's been at the court every day this week. Yeah, but you don't, you don't give somebody the shaft unjustly, is what I'm saying. No, unjustly. It's just all bullshit. Oh. I used to live in Pennsylvania as a kid. I didn't He's in Pennsylvania I now? Yeah. yeah. I thought he was in the Carolinas. No, he came up. He just, he just with a, he's, a, he's helping a niece fix the car, so he's in Pennsylvania helping him fix the car. I thought he went from uh, uh, Jersey Shore to the Carolinas. Now he went, he's in Pennsylvania. It was an earthquake. One of those northeastern earthquakes. You ground, you vibrate up like when you remember the football game as kid. I thought maybe he had Tourette syndrome and he was like. I that too. In other words, he 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 was his own earthquake. Is what you're trying to say? All we need is Gil for God, Gilbert Godfrey. Hit it. Remember Gilbert Godfrey after. Oh, I think you have no idea what we're talking about. All the man has to do is speak, and he is an instant He's just funny. comic. You know what I think. You laugh right away. I mean, he's funny. You know what I and he and he squints like he's constipated. He like or Joe Jitsu from Dick Tracy used to do that, except he had buck teeth. Iced or hot, you mean? Or? Is, it, is it cold coffee? Or it's iced, yeah. Iced now, coffee. why, let me ask you a question. When when they put whiskey in coffee, they call it Irish coffee, right? Right. They Irish up your coffee or Irish coffee? Where were you? Irish. You are? Yeah. You, you ever, I thought you were like Hindu. You ever try, yeah, I thought she was Hindu. You ever try like uh, J Jameson's or Bushmills? Yeah, I try. I like Bailey's Irish cream. You like anything with booze? Yeah. Bailey's you're, Irish you're cream. I even You know, cream. women tend to like Bailey's a lot. Every female loves Bailey's Irish. Well, it tastes great. Bailey's Irish whiskey. I, I had Bailey's the liquor. I've had uh, uh, um, Magner's hard apple cider from Ireland. But it's not as good as woodpecker from England. That's my favorite hard apple cider. Kai Bailey's the the the, uh, the Irish the cream Bailey's cream the liquor the liquor is good the bottle yeah. is expensive but it's good. You like um, a Guinness stout? I, the Guinness is a right, but I'm not really crazy. Yeah, but Guinness is like the whole line. well, you know. Well, you know, Guinness is a black, is a very strong... No, I don't know, but, but she would know. 
Well, she seems to know all the moves. She knows them very well. well. I don't know any of this stuff. She's flipping her gum, flapping her gums about all of them. Oh, let me test her out. What What is the alcohol content of my uh, Taylor wine? Which is made from the Concord grape, I believe. New York State wine. What is the alcohol content? Take a guess. Is it 5%? No. 10%? No. Keep going. 86. A little lower. There you go. Hey, that was a lucky guess. Yeah, she was playing funny. She went from 20 to 18. She's guzzled that shit down over the... You know why I love... Uh, I have this... Uh, uh, the name of booze Eileen hasn't had. I have this thing for purple food, like eggplant, Concord grapes. You know, Welch's uses the Concord grapes. But... That's nothing to do with eggs. Manischewitz. Isn't it funny all the kosher wines are... Are Concord New York State wines? Well, they're one of the, some of the best. The Concord grape is is the only Native American um, grape, from what I understand, uh, indigenous to the Northeast. Indigenous, I like that word. Indigenous. Thank God I have that that freaking sherry at home. I sure need it. She's impressed. Cream. I think they call it, and it, and it tastes delicious. It is delicious, but have co you ever had it? cold. Have you ever had it? Yes, I've had it. I have Kahlua and cream, which is this sombrero, I think. Have you ever had it, Bill? Bill is I think I have, I've had a little bit years ago. But it's, it's sweet. Yeah. It's almost like my mom used to love after dinner the cores like uh, cream to mint. I mean, that's like pure sugar. I, I oh, God. Like, oh, that was like... Well, you know, I know somebody who's who's a fanatic for Jägermeister, which is honestly too sweet for me. It's a German liqueur. Yeah, I'm, I can't. You know Jäger. Yeah, I never had it. You never had it? What it's are you right now? It's uh, oh. Jägermeister is actually an 800-year-old recipe. His dad just got out of here. His father. His father just got out of here. Yeah. It started it in a monastery. It was invented, Jägermeister. It's expensive liqueur. But it's got to be cold. It's got to be ice cold. I mean, but it's, I know it has, it's made from like hundreds of different herbs and spices. And I know it's expensive, but it's, it's sweet. It's, it's like some people will say Sambuca, Amaretto, you know? I'm just going to get something yeah. to take back. Yeah. I can't, I'd love to take a You better, you better get. So you anticipate a couple, one or two days? I guess. You got to go, buddy? This has been a Mega Life 21 production.